Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is just another update video. Let me show you uh, the boat as it stands now. So I've got a cover over the whole thing. It's kind of a makeshift tent. So since we talked last, I've made a good bit of progress. The keel is completely encapsulated. That's the keel, I'm sorry for my shaky hands, uh, in, in epoxy and laminate. I did five coats of barrier coat. You can see that white spot there where the keel flange is going to go. That is the last coat of barrier coat, the white. And on the keel flange itself, there's a smear from some paint where I got some on there and couldn't wipe it off, but I'm going to sand that on. And then the blue, which is on all of the keel, except where it sits on those trailer stands, on both sides, is the first layer of bottom paint. So I don't know how much I'm really showing, but in any case, um, the bottom paint, I'm going to do probably two more coats. I'm going to back up a little bit here because the smell from that bottom paint is overwhelming. So um, I'm going to do a few more coats, at least two, maybe three more of the bottom paint. Um, to get this one coat on, I uh, use this. Mm -hmm. I have this um, this Pettit Trinidad, uh, and I used maybe a third of a gallon, maybe only a quarter, a quarter to a third of a gallon to do uh, this 20-foot boat as you see it. And I also have a layer on the bottom of the keel bulb uh, because the next step after the bottom paint is to stand that keel up and uh, lower the boat down onto it and get that all reattached. So I wanted to do some videos of uh, the process of the barrier coat, but to be honest, it, uh, it was such a tight time frame because we're here in Florida. It's, I hope I'm in frame, I just turned my phone around. Um, uh, we're here in Florida, even though it's only the middle of March, it is uh, currently about 85 degrees, probably 100 in the direct sunlight. I don't, you know, I don't know. Uh, and the humidity spikes up to 100% every morning, and the bottom, the barrier coat is not supposed to go on if the humidity is over 85. So I had to wait until about 10 or 11 o'clock, get one coat on, and then get another one on around 3 or 4 o'clock. And uh, I did two a day for two days, and then I, this is the third day, we did the last layer of barrier coat, and before I was even able to finish it, uh, the first layer of bottom paint had to start going on where I had, where I had started. Uh, I had a, I had a buddy out here to help me as a two-man job. I wouldn't have had time to do it all, you know, front, back to front. I would have had to like do it in sections if I was just doing it by myself, and I wasn't ready to deal with what to do where it overlaps, you know. And, the idea with the barrier coat is you're supposed to wait till it's tacky and then get the paint on. Uh, and we had a window of maybe 20 minutes. So I wasn't even halfway up the side of the boat before it, it had to go on the transom. And we might have even missed our window a little bit. I'm not sure it was completely tacky even still. So hopefully that's okay though. Um, and other than that, that's where we stand now. Um, I'm definitely going to do a video when we put the keel back on of us in progress doing it. Uh, it may be kind of a, a long progress, but I think it'll be worthwhile for people out here who have a Cal 20 to kind of see how it goes. All right, everybody.